What's going on guys? It's Dinosaurs here and today I'm going to be answering a question for one of my Twitter followers. He's also a subscriber and stuff and he comments on a lot of my videos so thank you for asking me the question Michael. Uh, and the question is like how do you gain subs on YouTube? How to be successful and stuff like that. Now I've never wanted to make one of these videos personally because I don't consider myself that successful on YouTube. I mean, I have a great amount of subscribers who pretty much watch anything I upload, which is awesome. Uh, so I love all of you guys for doing that. Uh, but then again, I also have another like 5,000 subs that only watch like Injustice. So it's kind of hard to explain success when I don't think I necessarily have it. But I'm going to try to do my best. Uh, so the first thing I did when I made a YouTube channel is pretty much did whatever I want. I know I kind of said this in my uh, channel trailer and I just uploaded like Carl on duty I uploaded Battlefield 3 like anything I wanted to upload was getting uploaded on my channel uh, and I pretty much did it whenever I wanted to and I was like one of those people was like oh, I'm too busy to make YouTube videos every day but that's bullshit I think uh, you know cuz like you it doesn't take that much time to make a YouTube video first of all unless you're you know uh, angry Joe it doesn't take you like three days to make a video you know like it take you maybe an hour if that and that would be kind of uh pushing it so you know you gotta you can't make excuses about this you know stuff like this if you really want to be successful if you want to be successful you got to make content consistently now if you make uh three to five videos a week that's good uh at least to start out you know what i mean like three videos a week to start out isn't bad i'd probably go for five um even now i don't really stick to a a, a, a schedule really well which could contribute to the fact that you know I'm not huge on YouTube but I'm trying to give you tips and stuff so uh, if you want to get uh, successful on YouTube gain a really good subscriber base first thing you gotta do is post content consistently uh, and at a decent pace you know what I mean like you need to have at least a video every other day I would say uh, so definitely get on get work on that uh, second thing is I was lucky enough to have an interest uh, like comic books that apparently a lot of people have on YouTube like there's a lot of people on YouTube who you know post videos about their comic book pickups there's people who like talk about comic book movies there's people you know anywhere you can find something about a comic book uh, like a TV show reviews anything you can find it lucky enough for me I like video games and comics uh, so I was able to combine that and you know you, you have to be passionate is what I'm trying to get at like whatever you're making videos about you don't want it to feel like a job because it's it's not or it shouldn't be at least um, if you're starting out like you, you want to be, you want to be able to be like yes every day I'm making a video and I'm happy to do it you know uh, so you definitely want to find something that you're really interested in whether it be Carl on duty or battlefield uh, or you know injustice or uh, you know battle Batman Arkham Origins whatever the case is uh, you want to find something and kind of try to narrow your thing down to kind of like a niche. Not everyone can be seen enters, guys. So uh, you got to try to find a like a niche audience of something that not everyone's doing. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing videos about Call of Duty at this point because it's not going to help you much, uh, to be honest with you. Because there's about a billion and a half people on YouTube who... Uh, make YouTube videos about Call of Duty, so you're not bringing anything new to the table. Just to come, just to be completely honest, like you're not going to be bringing anything to the table. So there's almost no point in doing uh, stuff like that. I mean, if you gain an audience, you know what I mean. Like, let's say you get 5,000 subs or even just a thousand subs, and they just so happen to like Call of Duty. Awesome, post Call of Duty as well if you want, you know. But you want to find a niche audience and make videos about something that not everyone's making videos about. You want to be kind of like a front runner. And you want to just, that's kind of, at least that's what I did. Like, I was right there when uh, Injustice started, and I was just like, hey, I like in, I like uh, comics, I like video games, I like fighting games even, so this is a great thing for me to talk about on my YouTube channel. And that's what I started doing. So, like I said, you want to be, you want to be passionate about what you're doing so you can uh, be happy to make videos every day. Uh, or, you know, every other day, whatever the case may be. So definitely find something you're passionate about. Find something if you really want to be successful. If you don't care about being successful, I don't know why you're watching this video in the first place, but if you want to be successful, don't, don't do Call of Duty. It's not going to get you anywhere, I promise you. Uh, unless you get like a big enough audience and like I said, they just so happen to like Call of Duty. But at this point, there's like literally about a billion people making YouTube videos and like three-tenths of them are YouTube commentators for Call of Duty and Battlefield. So literally no point in doing that. Uh, just be content with watching videos or something at this point if you're into Call of Duty. 
uh, but yeah, that's the next thing. Also, you want to invest in equipment. Like, don't go out and buy a Dazzle. No one, I repeat, no one wants to watch uh, standard definition quality anymore. It is 2013. No one wants to watch Dazzle quality video footage. Like, get yourself... Uh, what I would recommend, I have an HD PVR, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's complete garbage. Uh, like, it's it's nearly broken on me, like, way too many times for me to recommend it to you. Does it record in good quality? I would say yes, but, you know, you run into the possibility of it breaking on you. And when you're trying to be consistent with uploads, that's kind of hard when your PVR breaks down. So, I'm going to leave a link in the description for the Elgato HD capture card. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm Like I said, I'm like two subs. Uh, so, you know. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just saying I think they make the better uh, capture cards because you can record in HDMI. You can record I – th I think you can record it with uh, component cables, but I'm not sure. But most people have HDMI cords anyway today. So uh, I want to get one. I want to get a, a, an Elgato because I want to be able to record uh, my Wii U. I want to be able to record everything, not just my PlayStation and my Xbox. So that is the reason why I would say get a Elgato because if you have an HD PVR – at least the original one, you cannot record Wii U footage. So, yeah, you're going to want to invest in good quality equipment. So, first of all, you're going to need, if you're doing gameplay at least, you're going to need a uh, uh, an Elgato or something to that effect. That's what I would recommend, like I said. Uh, and you're going to want a decent mic. Um, so, here's the thing. I'm not an audiophile or an audiophile, but one of my friends, uh, Omega Pro, is. And it uh, it's probably embarrassing to say, but, like, I don't use like a legitimate microphone i didn't even pay for my microphone to be honest because it's a rock band microphone so if any of you guys thought i, I spent like hundreds of dollars or even like 50 to 50 dollars on my microphone sorry i don't know why i just went like full retard there for a second but um no i just use my mic my rock band microphone and like tape it to a uh uh, lamp so I'm like full-on ghetto status but you know you don't want to be me you want to be better than me so you want to try to get a decent microphone and one that's not going to pick up on all the background noise in your uh, place of residence so I'm going to link a microphone that's good down in the description it's only like 50 bucks so uh, I would recommend getting it and then you can also get like a little mic stand uh, as well uh, which is a good idea so that's probably what I'm going to be getting next uh, when I get paid again so I would recommend getting it uh, some of my other YouTube friends use it and they've been giving it nothing but good praise. So first thing you're going to do guys, just to get a little recap is you're going to want to post consistently. I think that was number one. I could be wrong. Uh, secondly, you're going to want to find something that you're going to be enjoying posting consistently. And third is good equipment. I think those are the three things I covered. I could be just full on retard here, but uh, I think those are the, full, the three things that uh, really make a good YouTuber in my eyes. So that is my uh, opinions and recommendations on how to be a good YouTuber or a, uh, a, a better one than me or as good as me. So if you guys have always wanted to start a YouTube channel, hopefully these tips have helped you. If so, please leave it a like. Uh, please leave this video a like. Comment down below letting me know if you have any other questions. I'll try to answer at least for the first like 24 or 48 hours. Uh, but yeah, other than that, guys, thank you all for watching, and I hope this helped you.